Hey gang, Steven and TJ here with some more documentation updates and video style for our YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over ESO fire, how to document exposures on fire calls as well as the PPE that was worn. Um, we're going to start by creating a new record which is done. We're in our basic tab. We'll complete this as we normally do. Then we're going to switch over to our units tab. Once we're there, we will add a unit. Today we're going to be adding engine 33. You will select edit as you normally do, and you will go down and fill out everything you need to until you get the personnel. Once you add your personnel, you can add your personnel like you normally do. And then we will show you how to edit the PPE function of it. And we'll put Kahigas on this call. We'll select and each of the guys that made it. The first part we're going to go over is for a medical call. So with the COVID-19 is the hot topic of the month, um, the pumper is going to stage. But if you do happen to get called in, you are going to have to say that you made patient contact. So we'll click on me. And the personnel actions, if you want to put those in, it's recommended. If you don't, it's OK. Um, the more documentation we can put in, it's always going to be better. Um, but like we said, this is a medical call that we're assisting Medic 41 on. Um, I got off the truck, I had my gear on, and I actually made patient contact with the medic unit. So you will click on the patient contact was made. And what PPE did I wear? It was eye protection, gown, gown gloves, and N95 mask for our, for our recommendation. Once that's done, you clicked OK and okay again and it, it shows that everything was done or everything was inputted for the PPE that I made on the medical call. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over for a car fire um, and we're just going to skip down. We don't need to go through the intro again. We're just going to skip down and we're going to simulate for Lieutenant Gert to make a fire call. So he's going to talk you through that. All right guys, so it's going to start off about the same. Click on your area head down to personnel action taken, uh, click whatever is applicable in that area. Like I said, this was a car fire, so that's going to be our example. Uh, he's going to run through those motions real quick. Uh, there was no patients on this call, so we have no need to do any type of medical PPE for this run. We're going to go ahead and scroll down and look at exposure and decontamination. Now guys, we know cancer is a hot topic and uh, something that we need to look forward to as we progress through our career as firefighters and even after. So the better we can document these things that we go on early in our career, uh, the better we'll be in uh, in the future. So uh, it's a little bit more work, but I think this is good for us long term. So under fire products exposed to, we're on a car fire, smoke, heat, um, and fire obviously. Uh, for example, with a gas leak, we could go ahead and put in gas. Uh, the rest self-explanatory as you see. But for, for this example on the car fire, we were exposed to smoke, heat, and fire. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click OK. Also know that this is for carbon monoxide. If you were exposed to any foam in, in any capacity, or if you there was a dry chemical that was, was, was let off, we need to document as much as we can on this. This is for our protection. Right, and, and, and think of it outside the box as well. If we do use foam on this car fire, then there's a pretty good chance that we could get some of that foam on us uh, so let's let's think of everything encompassed into that one event, not just Hold on, TJ. I just got an update from Commander Farquhar that we need to know that uh, microblaze, which we carry on our trucks, microblaze out is a class A and B foam. So if we get exposed to microblaze, we need to cl click class A, B foam. Perfect. I sure do appreciate that. All right, so that's what we were exposed to. Uh, PPE worn during this exposure. So for the most part, uh, car fires, we're going to be wearing our fire turnout gear, right? Coats, pants, boots, hood, mask, firefighting gloves, SCBA, and if you're lucky enough to have a radio strap, put that on. Uh, go ahead and look through anything else that you may or may not need uh, and click OK. All right, guys, so that, so that pretty much covers what we wore and what we're exposed to. We're going to take this one step further. We're going to talk about if we had any PPE malfunctions. So we have a tear in our coats. Did our boots come off if we fight barefooted, things like that? Did we have any barrier breaches? Uh, was our mask seal good? All that stuff. Uh, did we come away from here with black soot around our nose, uh, around our mouth? Uh, we need to make sure we're wearing our SCBAs the whole time in any type of IDLH environment. Uh, documentation procedures completed, go ahead and click on that. So remember, once we're done as part of our cash, 
cancer initiative. We're, we're trying to decon at the scene and uh, create a key, clean cab environment. So we, you guys know we carry some decon gear on the pumper right behind the uh, firefighter door. So today we're going to talk about did we wipe down our gear with soap? Did we not use soap? Uh, did we use wet wipes? Did we clean our face? Did we go ahead and put the gear in the bag and uh, place it in the cab or place it outside the bag up top in one of the coffin uh, storage upstairs? So as we scroll through that, you can see there's different things in there. That's about it. Um, and we're just looking at where any decomp procedures are done. So like I said, this will then be added to the personnel file, right, Stephen? This will automatically attach to your personnel management file that is in another suite of ESO. So once you have everything that the decontamination procedures were done, you click OK, you click OK on the user, and you're done. Um, we said that in an earlier video on EHR, this has got to be done for each individual person. So you see that Lieutenant Gert had actions and exposure, but it's, it's just related to him. It did not transpose over to myself. It did not transpose over to, to uh, Cahigas. So make sure you're filling this out for every person that is attached to this fire record for every unit. So other than that, if you have any questions, give us a buzz, but we're good for now. Thanks, All right. guys. All right, guys, stay tuned, and let's keep getting better.